IP Man 3 is a Hong Kong biographical martial arts film released in the year 2015. The plot of the film follows a Chinese martial arts master, IP Man, who's forced to take a stand against a gang of thugs and their vicious boss when they try to take over a local school. The film starts in 1959 in the city of Hong Kong, IP Man, a Wing Shun master, originally from Foshan, lives with his wife, Ching Wing Xing, and his younger son, IP Ching. His elder son, IP Shun, is pursuing his education in Foshan. In Hong Kong, IP continues to teach Wing Chun and promote the benefits of martial arts. One morning, a young boy, Siu Long, visits IP and asks him to take him as his disciple. IP asks him to give one reason why he should make him his student. Su tells him that he's fast and can prove to be his best disciple. IP challenges his swiftness by throwing cigarettes one after another in a series, and Su demonstrates his speed by tackling the cigarettes promptly. Lastly, IP throws a cup of water, and Su falls to defend himself from it. IP walks to the door, opens it for him, and Su leaves. Next, a school is shown where Chung Fong and IP Ching get into a fight while the rest of the students hoot for them. A moment later, their teacher, Miss Wong, arrives to stop the fight and escort both of them to the teacher's office, where the parents are called. However, only Ching's mother, Wing Sing, arrives. She tells the teacher that it must be her son's fault. Fong's father does not come as he is a rickshaw puller and usually picks Fong up late from school. IP finally arrives and apologizes for being late. Upon seeing Fong's hunger, the IPs invite him for dinner at their house. During dinner, the IP and Wing Sing feed Fong tenderly. After dinner, IP notices Fong's excellent Wing Chun skills on the wooden man and asks him who his teacher is. Fong tells him that he is the disciple of his father, Chung Ti Shi. Just then, Tin Shi arrives to pick up his son. Xing and Fong apologize to each other for the fight, and Fong leaves with his father. On their way home, Fong acquaints his father with the wooden man. but Frank gets furious and tells him that he has two weeks to get him to school. At IP's Martial Arts Academy, a reporter arrives and Master Ten, who is a local martial arts master and Ma's former mentor, they give him a tour of the academy. Ten introduces the reporter to IP, who is the best master and later they click photos together. Just then, Wing Sing calls to talk to IP and remind him that he missed their dancing date. She seems pretty upset with him and asks him to pick Ching up from school. After taking photos, IP goes to pick Ching up from school and finds Tin Chi outside. Tin Chi gives him a bottle of medicine for Ching that helps with bruises, and IP thanks him. He also inquires about Chan Wu Shun and whom he studied, and then asks if they can have a friendly match someday. IP agrees. While leaving the school with Ching, IP finds Ma and his men entering the school. They barge into the principal's office and start smashing everything. Ma forces the principal to sign off the papers of the school. Upon the principal's refusal to sell, Ma aggressively starts beating him. Fortunately, IP arrives there and defends the principal by defeating Ma and his thugs by using his outstanding Wing Chun skills. He timely manages to call the police, but before the police could arrive, IP is forced to leave Ma as his men threaten him by pointing knives at the teacher's necks. IP seeks help from Fat Pu, who is the head of the British Hong Kong police and IP's dear friend. Pu is a very humble man and he agrees to help but elucidates that he's understaffed and quite busy since Hong Kong's crime rate is rising day by day. He assures IP that he can call the police whenever he wants but unfortunately the police can't offer 24-hour protection every day at the school. That night, Ma is enraged after getting beaten and he chains the school. The next morning, parents and students are in a state of confusion after seeing the school shut down. IP arrives and gets the school opened by his disciples. One of his disciples, Hai Lik, gets attracted to Miss Wong and tells her that she can call him whenever she needs help. Upon witnessing Ma's thugs near the school, IP decides to guard the school and orders his disciples to accompany him. At night, when they're about to leave for their homes, a large number of Ma's thugs barge into the school 
and while IP and his disciples are busy fighting them, the rest of them set the school on fire and attempt to abduct the principal. Thankfully, Ten Shi was just dropping off a passenger nearby, and he sees Ma's gang kidnapping the principal, so he uses his Wing Chun and brutally knocks down Ma's thugs one after the other. Once the fight is over, IP thanks Ten Chen for helping. At home, Wing Sing is pissed after IP tells her that he'll be out for a few nights to protect the school. Meanwhile, Ten Chi takes Fong to see a rental place where he aims to open a martial arts school one day. But since he does not have much money, he leaves. The owner gets mad when she sees that Ten Chi is a rickshaw puller and thinks he has wasted her time as he'll never be able to run a school. At the police station, Pu's senior officer, who is a foreigner in cahoots with Frank, asks him to stay out of the school's case as he will be handling it. At home, Wing Sing faces severe abdomen pain and goes to a pharmacy to fetch some medicines. Meanwhile, Master Ten meets IP while he's having tea at a cafe and is furious at his disciples, Ma and his hideous acts of violence. In his fury, he breaks the cafe table and heads toward a Hong Kong shipyard to meet Ma. Just then, Po arrives at the school to meet IP, and upon knowing that IP and Ten are at the shipyard, he rushes there. At the shipyard, Ten heatedly humiliates Ma for dishonoring his name. When Ma speaks to him badly, Ten slaps him in front of his men. This enrages Ma and he attacks Ten with a knife but is stopped by IP at the right time. All of Ma's men come to defend Ma but just then Po arrives with his gun to blow off the steam. He threatens Ma to keep calm or else he'll be arrested and his shipyard will be sealed. IP asks Po about his plan to save the school. Po tells him that Ma has his senior officer in his pocket who isn't letting him handle the case. IP is disappointed by Po for giving up so easily and gives him a pep talk telling him that he had to be a good role model for the generations to come and protect their city from brutal thugs. That night, IP comes home late and finds his wife and son asleep. He eats the dinner that Wing Sing has left for him on the table. The next morning, Wing Sing leaves for the hospital to get herself checked, only to find out that she's diagnosed with a tumor. Heartbroken, she leaves the hospital and walks home. On her way, she witnesses random women on the street praising IP for his hard work. Next, Ten Chi is seen winning another underground fight. After the fight, Ma offers to buy him in exchange for a large sum of money. At first, Ten Chi refuses, but then he takes the deal. He's asked by Ma to brutally beat Master Ten to avenge his humiliation. Ten Chi covers his face and arrives at Ten's umbrella shop. He aggressively wounds Ten, causing him to be hospitalized. When IP is leaving for school, Wing Sing tries to tell him about her diagnosis, but a phone call interrupts their conversation. A nurse calls IP from the hospital, informing him that Tin is badly wounded and he wants to see him. Turns out it's Ma who forged the nurse to call. So IP rushes to the hospital. Meanwhile, Ma arrives at the school and kidnaps some students, along with Fong and Ching. Ma's men defeat IP's disciples, and Ma demands them to send their principal to the shipyard in two hours, or else he will sell the kids into slavery. Soon, IP finds out that Tin did not call him to the hospital. He understands that it was a trap to lure him away from school, so he rushes to the school only to find from Miss Wong that his son, along with the other kids, has been kidnapped. So he heads to the shipyard with a pole in his hand and finds the kids locked in a cage. Upon seeing IP, Ma takes Ching out of the cage and points a knife at him. He demands IP to throw the pole and bow down to him. Powerless due to his son, IP does as Ma says. Just then, Ten Chi arrives and is allowed to take his son since he worked for Ma earlier. Ma then challenges IP to face ten of his men, and if he is defeated, his son will have to face the consequences. IP strongly tackles one man after the other. Meanwhile, Fong tells Ten Chi that his friends are in trouble. Ten Chi returns and brilliantly defeats Ma. He helps IP in defeating other thugs. In the middle of the chaos, Ma attempts to run with Ching, but Ching bites him and climbs a ladder to protect himself from the gang. In the meantime, Po brings a team of cops along with a reporter. Ma manages to run away while the rest of the gang is arrested. IP takes Ching home and tells Wing Sing that he was abducted from school. Exasperated by IP's neglect towards his home and family, Wing Sing slaps him. She tells him about her cancer, and IP is shocked to hear the news. He takes her to the doctor who tells them that Wing Sing's cancer is at a really crucial stage and she has six more months to live. After reading the news on the newspaper cover about children being abducted, Frank is furious. The foreign police officer suggests Frank take a break or else he won't be able to protect them. 
In his rage, Frank fires Ma from his duties and hires a proficient Thai boxer to go after IP and finish him. The Thai boxer attacks IP and Wing Sang in the elevator when they're returning from the medicine shop. After a long series of punches and kicks, IP excels in defeating him and takes his wife home safely. Poe informs IP about Frank's nefarious plans against him, so IP decides to visit Frank. In his office, Frank challenges IP that if he can last in a three-minute fight, Frank will drop his plan of overtaking the school. Both of them start the fight in full swing and give their 100%. Finally, the fight ends in a draw after the three-minute timer runs out and IP walks out of there quietly. Frank keeps his promise and withdraws his plans of taking over the school. Later, Ten Chi goes to the same rental place and rents it out with the money he earned from Ma. He sees IP on the newspaper front, goes to meet the reporter in a restaurant, and offers him some money to write about him in the newspaper. He also tells him that IP's Wing Chun is not authentic and challenges IP to a battle. The reporter returns with his money and refuses to defame IP. Later, Ten Chi creates a scene in the restaurant which results in him being on the newspaper front. He keeps doing this every now and then to increase his fame. After gaining considerable fame, he openly challenges IP to a battle that will decide the Grand Master of Wing Chun. Meanwhile, IP spends all of his time with his wife and neglects whatever has been published in the newspaper. Later, he goes to a dancing class to learn to dance where he finds the same boy, Su Long, who he met at the start of the film. Su teaches him how to dance. Finally, the day of the battle comes and everyone arrives to watch the thrilling battle between two legends. However, instead of going to the match, IP spends time with his wife dancing. Since IP fails to show up, Ten Chi is announced as the winner of the battle. After winning, Ten Chi claims himself to be the true leader of Wing Chun. On the other hand, Wing Sing falls unconscious while dancing and is admitted to the hospital. IP cooks food and feeds her and also takes care of his son because he's ashamed of neglecting his family for so long. Wing Sing knew that IP missed the match because of her, so she wrote a letter to Ten Chi to arrange another match. She asked Ching to give the letter to Fong, who can give it to his father. Her health keeps worsening day by day, so she asks IP to get a photograph with him. IP fulfills her wish and they get a family photograph taken. Later, she asks IP to practice for the match that she has set on his behalf. On the day of the match, she accompanies IP. The match starts with full zeal and after multiple rounds of using different Wing Chun weapons, IP finally defeats Ten Chi with a punch. Fong and Ching also watch the entire match sneakily. After the fight, Ten Chi breaks the banner of the Grand Master of Wing Chun and accepts his defeat. IP tells him that nothing is more important in this world than having the love of your life by your side. The movie ends with an epilogue stating that Wing Sing passed away in 1960 and IP became a Grand Master of Wing Chun, which is his legacy. The movie has a rating of 7.0 on IMDb. The budget of this movie was around $36 million, and at the box office it earned $157.3 million. I hope you all liked the video. If yes, then make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel for more movie recaps.